Tell me about this fine clock. This clock was originally rather a mess, but it, it was the way clocks came into my life, and that was about 11 or 12. We had a neighbour, Mr Leopold Laurent, who was of French ancestry, and I befriended him. I thought he was very, very old, actually he was in his 60s, younger than I am now. And when he died, well before he died I went to visit him in hospital a couple of times, and he said to his daughter, when I die, please give my old clock to Frank. So I received his clock after his death, after his funeral. It was in a mess, this whole bit, where these bits were missing, it had no back to it. And uh, eventually, after about, I managed to get it working, believe it or not, as a teenager. But eventually, when I came to live in this house, about 20 years ago, I paid to have it properly restored. Both the mechanism and the case, the hood in particular here, and this was added on later. And so it was from this clock and my fascination with clockwork that I went on to collect a, a few other clocks, a bracket clock, a French comptoise clock and various other things, but they fascinated me. As a child, my great-grandmother's grandfather clock, I always confused this door with the door to the stairs in the farmhouse. They are wonderful bits of history. The only problem with this clock is it's only a 30-hour clock, so it needs winding daily, which is a chore. We tend to forget it, so it's not ticking at the moment. Do we know the maker of this clock? Yes, it's a Warrington maker, Richard Hampson. I think it's about 1780 it was made, which is an inspiration. It fits well with the dates of my other Georgian stuff and things like that. And it survives.